All right. Friday night's great event. All right, then, okay. Just making sure I can hear everything and we're fine. So anyway, welcome to uh, another episode of the Friday Night's Great Event here. Now, normally I wouldn't do one uh, before um, before the pay-per-view because it's Fat Lane, which is coming out. Well, this is getting live-streamed on a Monday, on the Monday, but it's coming out on the Friday uh, because probably on Wednesday or Thursday I'm going to live-stream the, pay- the pay-per-view. So, yeah, anyway, I guess we should just get into today's card. Um, so basically this is kind of a follow-up to last week, so, um, so yeah, um, we're gonna have the second round of the Intercontinental Championship, uh, basically we have two matches for that, the two winners will face each other at Fat Lane in the final, the winner gets the Intercontinental Belt, so the first match to start off, uh, today will be the first, will be the second round, uh, will be Sam A versus Charlie K, um, in the tournament. And then after that, we're going to have the Red Tag Team Championships number one contender match. Big Boys versus the Parkers. Uh, so uh, they also won. They won. Uh, both teams won a match last week, and now they're going to face each other. The winners face Kane and Drew, Moo Jokers at Fat Lane. Um, second round of the Intercontinental Championship tournament. Uh, again, this is the other bit, the other match now, which is Charlie W versus Callum G. Then we have. Just a normal match uh, of the CWA champion, Ruben, not defending his title against George P. Because basically a lot of people uh, that are on the, the uh, that are wrestlers here uh, that I've created uh, have found out about CWA, which is quite funny. So a lot of, a few characters have changed, uh, just on a side note, um, because they don't like what I did with their characters with, with only like little bits and stuff like Harry the NXT champion Harry J uh, he didn't like having a head guard on so I gave it to Callan instead and Callan how has a cape when he comes down to the ring but yeah he, ju- he just said could you just put me up against Ruben and I just said well in just a normal match and he said yeah so yeah we're just gonna have that and then uh, a European championship match Harry uh, Harry G will be putting the title on the line against Anthony and then the Gamer Championship Battle Royale to end the show off, as usual. Matt, who won the title last week, who, yes, I he was five, he was six foot five, but I've lowered his height down to his actual height, which is I think about five nine, five eight. Um, so whatever, there you go, Matt. Um, then he uh, Hayden, who's going to get his opportunity to get his belt back. He's in it. Louis in it again, and then Andrew. Who we haven't seen since the Rumble Tumble, he actually won it. He will be competing against Ruben at the at Conomania. And then James C's in it, so is Joe P. Um so yeah, that is the card tonight. There's only uh one, two, three, four, five, six matches. But that's normally for a Friday night's great event. There was two fatal four ways and then one contender was gonna be for the U the the two winners were gonna face each other for the YouTube belt. But that's not happening now. Um, that's going to happen actually afterwards, and it's going to be instead for the greatest tournament of superstars number one contendership. Or yeah, or I don't know. I'll think about that actually. I don't know what it's going to be. All right, uh, we should be back. Right, wait. Apologize, but my uh, mic might go on and off sometimes because of my uh, controllers were low on batteries. I forgot to put some batteries in before this. Maybe somewhere in this stream, I'll quickly go get some. Uh, all right then. Yes, let's get into our first match of this evening. It is the second round. We will be having. So it's Sam A versus Charlie K in the first one. See. Some people actually ask me, like, why can't they hear the music? Um, I don't know, it's the live stream stuff. Like, I would record it, but it would just take way longer, and it's just easier to live stream these. Um, so, yeah. So, where is he? Yeah, thanks for telling me. I'll get some of these here. Taylor's now got a hat instead of the girl, the horn ears. I took them off just because I, I took them off myself. Uh, where is... Oh, wait, Charlie's all the way at the top. 
that uh, yeah, it is main event by the way uh, last week was superstars this week's main event so the next episode will be uh, superstars again superstars and uh, main event on ion television alright anyway so um, yeah it's just a double one on one match both comms alright let's do this first match of the night uh Alright then. So yeah. Uh so Charlie Sam. I, I actually thought Charlie defeated Gabe and uh Sam defeated um which is quite surprising. Uh and uh Sam defeated uh who did he defeat? I defeated James, yeah, James C. Uh both of them to qualify. The other two are obviously Charlie and Callum. Charlie beat JP and Callum beat Taylor. Uh, so yeah. Also, Taylor's name is spelt wrong. I've uh, spelt it right. Uh, same with Matt, because he has to have two T's in his name. <laughs> anyway, here he comes, Charlie. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'll just uh, my I might go silent for a second, just because I'm switching my batteries around. That's just my mum. She just gave me some. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so sorry about that. <laughs> just mum got me some new batteries, so that's good. Sorry about that little freeze there, I was just checking, you know, the batteries uh, working and stuff. So yeah, anyway, yeah, he weighs about 140 pounds. Charlie weighs about 113 pounds, about 130 pounds. I get everyone's weights wrong, you anyway. know. Making his way to the ring. From, I don't know, somewhere. Weighing in at about 250 pounds. 200 and, yeah, 50 pounds. Sam. Sam here, will it be him going to to Fat Lane with the in well with a chance to win the Intercontinental Championship remember because obviously I was the last champion yeah boy so yeah this should be a, this should be a good match Charlie and Sam it's good that about these live streams because I get to just sit back and watch Tomorrow, so I have my money on Sam, but Charlie defeated Gabe, and Gabe's really in a rough patch at the moment. Like he started off, like he, like he's one of our highest rated people. He's like 87 rated, so he's like a highest rated person. But he just hasn't, he hasn't won a match yet. He hasn't. A lot of people that haven't won matches yet here. This is why I decided to do like um, this Friday night's great event thing, um, just because, you know, Sam right out of the gates though, just aggressive here. I'd like to see Sam and Charlie in the finals for the IC belt, but, um, you know, if not... Actually, to be honest, it wouldn't be bad if Callum and Sam were in the finals, because they have some rivalry right now, because remember, um, actually, funny enough, actually, um, in the Fatal 4-Way when Callum got uh, G, well, I don't said his real name there, <laughs> I don't say people's real names, I try not to, sometimes I do on accident, uh, but, like, not all the time, but Callum G, when he won the uh, uh, hardcore belt, um... Oh, that's been there by Charlie. When he won the hardcore belt off Sam, he actually pinned Charlie to win it. So that was quite funny. Um, but, um, yeah. 
Oh, and a knee. Oh, drop kick. Charlie there though. Charlie with a quick DDT. That was actually a nice break there from Charlie. Now he's going to the second ropes. Oh no, I, okay. Charlie Okay, Charlie was like the first person I I think I've seen go to the middle ropes because they can't go to the top ropes for some reason. That hasn't had a bloody... Oh, German suplex there by Sam. It hasn't, you know, wasted so much time just up there. Charles, does Sam think that's it? No. So yeah, anyway, it would be interesting to see Callum and Charlie and Sam, sorry, in the final. Because that could end their beef, their rivalry. And the winner walks out with the, Inter the IC belt as well, the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, right to the midsection there. You know, Sam's though has uh, competed against obviously quite a lot of the competitors here. Sam knows how what it takes to win a match. He's only won one though. <laughs> that was in the free preview. <laughs> oh no, sorry. No, what am I on about? He beat Gabe last last week. <laughs> he thinks that might be enough. I mean, Tim, Tim eliminated Josh from the penetration chamber by just doing that. So anything is possible. Oh, nice drop kick there from Charlie. Have a nice reversal there by Sam. Right to the gut there. I thought he was going for a pop-up powerbomb for a second. But then again, the crowd would start like going, showing and stuff. Whoop. So, who will be going to the finals out of these two? As I said, I would probably pick Sam. Oh, kick out. What the referee's voice I had? Oh, a headbutt there by Charlie. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about at the moment other than just to call this amazing action right now that's going on. <sighs> so yeah, I was at, a lot of the people actually did find out that I <laughs> was making wrestlers out of them. A lot of people thought it was sad, but honestly, the real reason why I'm doing this, well, there's two reasons. Well, yeah. The first reason is I, I'm doing this because... Judge, I say big fan. I, I enjoy watching WWE and I just wanted to, you know, kind of make my own show. But obviously, I couldn't do it in real life, so I just thought I'd bring it into a game. And I, I like 2K16. I felt like it was, you know, 2K17 isn't that good. I just don't really like 2K17 that much. And 2K18, I haven't really seen too much of it. But I don't know, just this one just seems fine. I was going for the cannibal. Cannibal by Sam. Will that be enough? to get Charlie out of it. Uh, is it enough? You know, if he hooks the leg, he could get the win, you know. Charlie powers out. Oh, what a right hand. Oh, wait a minute. Charlie now. Wait. Charlie's trying to get him over. And he does. No, but Sam got to the ropes. Why the hell is he holding his ass? But does Charlie think that might be enough? He does.
What shoes did I make Sam wear? Like, honestly, they're awful. I apologise, Sam. Oh, wait a minute. And now Sam. Oh! Pop up power bomb! That's gotta be it. Oh, but you got the shoulder up. That's what free per is all about. I say free per view. Oh, that's the wrong one. Friday night's great events all about. Oh, yeah, and also another reason why I did this is just because there's nothing I need. The, if I didn't like do this like thing, there's not much else I'll be doing, you know, other than the Fortnite, the PUBG, the Overwatch, and the Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. There's nothing else really to do, and these are just fun to do, you know, every Friday. And obviously, when there's a pay per view, of course, as well. As I said, Fat Lane is this week. One of the smaller pay-per-views of the year. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to fill you in on all the other pay-per-views we have this year. So after Fat Lane, it's Conomania, which is in April, which will be a two-part. There'll be two live streams for that. One after another on April 7th and April 8th. Let me get my phone actually out. Uh, April 8th is actually when WrestleMania is, but April 7th is on a Saturday. Because there'll, there'll be, everyone's going to be competing. Everyone will be competing at... Um, at a uh, Conomania. That was a really nice move there by Sam on the side. Now he's going up to the. He's going in. He's going up. Oh my god, he just did a sent on. Right, anyway, so where was I? So obviously, we've had the Rumble Tumble. We've had the Penetration Chamber. Fat Lane's coming up. Conomania, as I said. Fat Lane, by the way, 10th of March. Uh, what's the uh, thing you're going through? He's going to the top. Um, Conomania April 7th and April 8th because there's two parts to that and then after that will be Lashback May 5th but that might change the date um, all these pay-per-views are coming out the day before the actual um, WWE one is and oh my god Charlie just hit a flying kick there uh, Junk in the Trunk uh, June 16th uh, oh he's trying to get him in the walls Extreme Tools July 14th and he's sitting he's got him Wait, but Sam was powering. Oh, but he managed to get out of it. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. So, Extreme Tools, July 14th. Sucker Slam, August 18th. Uh, Fail Under Jail, September 15th. TLB, October 20th. And, oh, my God, what's he going for? Oh, he's going for that weird side package pile driver look thing. Will that be enough to put Charlie away? One, two... Three and it is, and that's it. Jolly is out, and Sam moves to the finals. That was good. Anyways, yeah, TLB October twentieth, uh, Solid Steel Series November seventeenth, and Basher the Champions December fifteenth. And WWE Two K sixteen has all those pay per views except for the Backlash pay per view, which I changed to Lash Back instead. Uh, so I'm just going to use Payback since um, they both had the word back in. Payback's one. If if I had Payback and... Um, uh, what's it called? Battlegrounds. I would have called it Battle Balls and Pay Bitch. But... So yeah, there are pay-per-view lineups. As I said, anyway. Sam, successful win for today, and uh, yeah, he'll be, he's in the finals, so he has an opportunity to win the Intercontinental Championship, well, I mean, they all have, we'll see later on how um, the other two do, well, Callum and uh, uh, Charlie, yeah, oh, the other Charlie, obviously, um, so yeah, anyway, our next match is a tag team match, just a normal tag team, Hell in a Cell is a Fell in a Jail, which is in September. Fell in a Jail. Um, so it is, uh, of course, the big boys. So it was. Oh. There we go. There we go. So yeah, anyway, so these are all in it. An opportunity. So these two teams obviously beat... Uh, Parker's beat the fire because the fire got counted out for Kirill not getting out of the ring. I remember that now. 
um and then the uh big boys um defeated the uh, blood brothers yeah blood brothers for the first time blood brothers actually haven't won a match yet and they're meant to be like one of my main teams like but they just they, they just can't win but anyway jake and also i just forgot jake wears glasses in real life and i just haven't given him glasses i should probably add those i'll add i'll add those to his character after this stream but um yeah i need to add jake some glasses I don't know. It's respect. You don't. Have, you don't. Wear, oh, Harry. Harry and Anthony though both wear their glasses in the ring. Yeah. Okay. I need to give him glasses. Adam doesn't. John and James. See, he also um, wears glasses in the ring as well. well. Anthony and him both wear sunglasses. Harry wears normal glasses. But yeah. Anyway. So um. Uh, yeah. Although, if you want to see some more content from me, you can go to my Battlecraft GG channel or Michael vs. Gaming, even though that's mainly Michael. Uh, which is. Oh, yeah, by the way, he is obviously on this game. He competed last week. A possibility of me facing him at Conomania. He's kind of got the Undertaker. There we go. And yeah, making their way to the ring at a combined weight of. 800 pounds of just meat. What the hell? Jack and George. Uh, two out of two thirds of the um, of the big boys. Because James is also part of them. James is in the uh, is in action tonight. He's in the uh, battle royal. These guys are going to try and get another opportunity at the tag titles. Yeah, they have to go through the new team here that have also been doing pretty well. There they are. And making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 500 pounds. Team. Parker, the Parkers. Uh, oh, sorry. Adam and Jake, the Parkers. Oh, yeah, both of them actually were just on my channel randomly and they went across um, the last episode of Friday Night's Great Event and they found themselves in it. They said they actually didn't mind their, they said they didn't, they didn't mind their attire there, what they're wearing. I just found it funny. Anyway, here's Jake and Adam. Looking like they're ready to fight. Oh, alright, Adam. Sorry. Adam's a reasonably smart guy in real life. Well, all of them are, actually. They're all actually quite smart people. Actually, now that I think of it, Jack's a bit, yeah, but this isn't, well, actually, you kind of have to be quite smart in the in CWA, but also, that just doesn't really matter. Adam seems to have shown a bit more, you know, of his skill, and Adam again with just another punch. Seems to show himself, you know, a bit more than Jake has, and since Jake's a higher rated than him, shows that everyone with a higher rating sucks. Ooh. There we go. Jake's showing a bit more strength this time around. So will the Parkers here get their first opportunity at tag gold well find out now I guess yeah of course you will now nah, find out next week see I could like the two downfalls to um, live streaming these is that you can't hear like the quality is not as good and it glitches sometimes but also you can't hear the music to um, you can't hear the music which is unfortunate like their theme music so it's kind of just the silence of just you, you can hear the crowd just can't hear the music which is annoying 
I haven't turned the music off either, so. Well. I don't think I have anyway. Strike to the back. Oh, chop right there to the tit. Oh, kick right to the gut of a uh, Oh, first by Jack. Oh, oh, and a mini attitude adjustment, as I call it. Apple juice adjustment. Oh, DDT. Oh, nice reversal by Jake. So you can go check out my um, Battlecraft Duty channel. It's my mods channel. That's uh, where I do Half-Life 2, Half-Life 1, and uh, Black Mesa mods. Um, so yeah, I haven't done a Black Mesa mod just yet, but I will do uh, soon, as soon as I can get some. I actually haven't got any either at the moment, but Half-Life 2 is the main stuff. I also do like Half-Life Saga. Um, so if you go on there now, as this goes up on YouTube, I should have done, because this is getting, um, well, I've just this week done Opposing Force and Blue Shifts. Which are two uh, Oh, that was meaty headbutt. What the hell? Oh, that was just nasty. Well, that could be it. Jake thinks that might be it. Well, you almost got a three from that, so could have been it. Oh no, wait a minute. There comes George now. Geez, the two big, big, like bigger men out of their teams anyway. Oh, nice reversal there. Nice move there by George. George, George doesn't even mind his attire. <laughs> like, honestly. He said he didn't even care. We have the other George, which is the new one, going up against Ruben. He just wanted to go up. And, and yes, I know Ruben's name is Bruben. That was an accident. I've changed it to Ruben now, so it is an R, not a B. Oh my god, what's he going for here? No, uh, he's too, it's too big. Oh, too... Not strong enough to pick the big behemoth. Wait a minute, and now Adam. Oh, and again, just not. Sh uh, Jake, sorry, trying to go for it again, and uh, the Jack. It's not strong enough for. Uh, I was pushing pressure on that shoulder there. Oh, and, oh, another running headbutt. The crawling headbutt, sorry. Cover. One. Two. Oh, nice break up there by Adam. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Jack just throwing Adam down to the ground. Oh, and there goes Adam. Alright then, Adam's just going to walk back to his side. And now look at this. Oh, shoulder first. Oh, now a kick to the gut. Just 
So this stream's been going on for about 30 minutes now. Actually no, it's been going on for about 20, but... Parker's here being quite, you know, like they deserve to be in that title match. Also, the fat lane card has changed a bit. Uh, so there was initially, as I said, on this sh to this show uh, today, um, the Friday Night's Great event today, and this live stream here was meant to be two fatal four ways, and then the two winners of those would face at fat lane. And now there's two fatal four ways that kind of happen next week. So that means obviously you can't do it at fat lane. So I've replaced that match with um, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, wait. Uh, the people go wild for that one. <coughs> oh my god, what a headlock driver there by, um... By, uh... uh Adam. Now, double tech. Big team right here, what are they going for here? Oh my god. Jake! Oh my god, what a splash! See, why did Adam get out of the ring? That's what I don't understand. But that was it. That was it. That could be it. And it's over. And the Parkers have defeated the big boys. And the big boys are not going to get their rematch. The Parkers showed it though in this match here. That was a wicked clothesline. I mean, look at this. Just picked him up. Frickin' massive clothesline. Jack, no chance. And then Je George realised his tag team partner was in trouble, but there's nothing he could do. Well, that's it then. The Parkers are not. Are going to Fat Lane. The newest tag team. Yeah, I've given them an opportunity and they've on it. Could they defeat Drew and could they be the ones to defeat Drew and um Kane's tag team run at the moment? And they've been going on for their tag team has been going on for over a month now. Anyway, anyway, um so so um, right, so what's our next match? It's the other half of the, uh, the egg team, yeah, it is. Right. Sorry, wrong one. So anyway, this is, so Sam's in the finals. Who will be facing Sam out of these two? So will it be Callum G or Charlie W? Both of these qualified. Charlie beat Joe P and Callum beat Taylor. Uh, S. There's only one Taylor. We have three Joes, but one goes by Joseph Meme. Joseph and his last name's Meme, so we just call him Joseph Meme. But we have Joe H and Joe P. So when they're both in the ring at the same time, we go, Joe P's name turns to Blow. Blow. And then Joe H just stays as Joe. Actually, we could just call Joe P. Joannis. <laughs> or, no, we should call him, um, yeah, Joannis. <laughs> For the last time, sir, it's Jones. Oh, so yeah, yeah, whatever, Joannis. Back to work. <laughs> nice work. Nice shot, Jones. Thanks, sir. But my name's Joannis. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So actually, I just remembered his victory last week. Ooh, voice crack again. Nice. That's the night time in a video. Well, something like that's happened. Do-do-do. <laughs> Do-do-do. 
Do 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 do. Anyway, see ya. I'll just put this closer here because I have to be quiet. So now. So anyway. Anyway. Making his way to the ring. Wing. Anyway, Callum. No, no. 280 pounds. Weighing in and about 250 pounds. Charlie W. Who will face Sam A in the finals of the Intercontinental Championship Tournament out of these two? I won't talk as much either, but. You know. Here we go. These two behemoths going at each other. Charlie with some shoves. Charlie is about 6'3 and I put... Now uh, Callum is about 6'5 but um, I put him as a 6'8. Six, uh, six um, yeah. Yeah, about 6'8. <laughs> Nice uppercut there from Charlie. But yeah, Taylor could have defeated Callum last week if um, Taylor just not... Taylor got back into the ring. Callum wasn't going to get into the ring in time. He could have just taken a count out. He got back out. Callum took advantage. Threw back in. Did a f did the Irish Coast backbreaker. And won. So, you know, Taylor could have easily won that. Could be Taylor versus Charlie right now. But that's just the direction Taylor wanted to go. Maybe it was the horns. That's where they've gone. He has a hat now. Oh, what a boot to the face. So anyway, yeah, sorry, I have to be quiet. Everyone else is going to sleep, so, yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, nice DDT there by Charlie. Conomania, we only have two matches really scheduled, which is Andrew versus Ruben for the CWA Championship and Charlie W versus Mr. T. Yeah, and those are all on both of those matches are gonna be on part two. Part two is like all the main events of Conomania. Part one's gonna be like kind of like half pre show, half not, you know, half of the main show, but you know. This is the only show where we actually kind of have a pre-show. We have like kind of a pre-show. But not really. The first bit of it is, but not entirely. Because everyone's going to be competing at Conomania. Whether you're on part one or two. Oh, look at their strength. What a power bomb. That was actually really nicely done. Let's go for another one. Oh, another one. 
Oh, now that, that was very fatal. That was that stomp to the knee. Oh, no, oh a reversal by Callum. Ooh. Just throws him down. I think that might be enough. <laughs> I thought it was then for a second. I was like, what the hell? Obviously, if that was a three count, I wouldn't have restarted the match or anything. Oh, a spear! A spear! Oh, kick out. That was a nice spear. Oh, now. Shoulder first, right into the pole. Oh, and sit out, power bomb. I don't think that'll be enough. Ooh, that was close again, an air fall. Callum can't believe he kicked out of that. Nice DDT there by Charlie. Oh, sweeps his legs. Wait, what's he doing? No, not this again. He just he just eliminated himself. Right, okay. That happened last week. And it happened in Charlie's match. Joe got out of the ring. He went under the th the thing, got a chair, and hit Charlie in the back with it. Why? Why is that a thing? Why is it happening in just Charlie's matches? That makes no sense. Well, th there we go. We have our final. Charlie versus Sam in the final because I I don't like how that happens. I wanted to be a nice ending, and I just don't understand why the AI does that and it's done that last week well if it happens at Fat Lane then I might want to do is delete Charlie's character and then remake him again anyway so next up we just have a normal one on one match between Ruben and George just because that's what Ruben wanted and there's a not Ruben sorry yeah, George wanted so you know Well, if George actually wins, by the way, that does give him, you know, in the runnings of a future title shot. Obviously, he, he'll he most likely be at, um, at Lashback, but, um, you know, that's if he wins, obviously. Next no, down in the R's. Uh, there he is. Title's not on the line. Both of them are 84 rated, so you know, it could go either way. Uh, both comms, alright, let's do this. So yeah, George just said, can I have a match with Ruben? So I said, sure. So, just this is a non-title match. Just these two against each other. But, um, yeah. So I guess this is uh, George's first one-on-one, uh, -on -one, this is. Made his debut last week in the uh, Gamer Championship Battle Royale. Didn't win, obviously. Or else he'll be defending it tonight. But um, he was going to be in that Battle Royale again, but he wanted a match, so he's not going to be in it now. So Joe P has replaced him. And we have to be a gamer, obviously, to be in the Game of Battle Royale, which we do have a few people that don't play games on our roster, so, uh, you know. Anyway, weighing out about £180. 
George. Uh, that George. His opponent weighing in at about uh, to see how much do you weigh, Ruben? About 150, 150 pounds. Weighing at 150, 140 pounds. Uh, no, 50 pounds is the CWA champion, Ruben Spliff. Alright then, let's do this. So yeah, just a normal one-on-one -on -one match between these two. But it could give George an opportunity to win the title here. George out muscling um, Ruben early, early on in this match. I guess because Ruben hasn't actually got a match for Fatlin because he is incredible how he started as number one in the penetration chamber and ended up winning it so I gave him Fat Lane off but I did say at least compete tonight in a non-title match against George and he said sure. So yeah. <laughs> Uh. Nice move there by Ruben. Oh, a slap. Nice moves here by um, George here at the moment. Ruben countering. Oh, nice bulldog by uh, Ruben. Power slam. Cover. Oh, sh straight up kick out. Need to do more than that. Not even a one count. What's he going for now? Sorry if you had that briefing, by the way. Suplex. I'll be back in a second, guys. I just need to go um, do something real quick.
I'm back. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, go to the toilet. But anyway, I'm back. So anyway, don't know what action I missed, but oh, George Six is it? Almost was. I was only gone for like a minute or two. Oh, now what's George going for here? He's going for the foreskin. I'm joking. Oh, just I swear if he goes for the pin, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Literally, that's happened three times now. Someone's gone from the pin from that. Penetration chamber, Tim did that to Josh. He got a three count. Earlier on, in what was it? The match between Sam and Charlie. Sam did that to Charlie. Charlie kicked out. Now George doing that to Ruben. Now Ruben, what's he going for here? See, why do they just stay there? Oh, we've been setting up for it now. He thinks this is it. Kill switch. One, two. Oh, jo George kicking out. Still got Anthony versus Harry for the uh, European Championship, and then we got the Game of Championship Battle Royal. George, oh, nice belly to belly. Oh my god, he's going, he's setting up for the choke slam. No, don't do this. Oh my god. What a destructive choke slam. And it's over. George did it. Well. If it was a title match, we'd have had a new CWA champion, but I'm not being rude or anything, but he didn't des do anything to deserve to get a number one contendership, but he has deserved something now. Now, we're not going to make it a triple threat. Andrew, you know, deserves his one-on-one sh -on -one shot. Now, you could say we'll make the match at Fat Lane. That's actually a good point. Actually, that, that is a good point. We not how about this? Whoever wins, we're gonna keep this in mind, this that win in mind. Whoever wins at at Conomania, at fat at Lashback At Lashback, uh George will face the winner. We'll keep that win in mind. Or we could just do it at Fat Lane. Oh, I'll think about it. Because Ruben did go through a lot to, you know, you know, he went through five other guys, starting at number one, ended up winning it, you know. We'll think about it. Maybe I could just give him, you know what, actually, George, you can cash that, that, that victory actually, though, gives him an opportunity at other belts as well, you know. Doesn't just have to be the CWA title. But anyway, our next match is for a title. Harry is finally defending the European title. He's not defended it once. He won it at the free preview. Didn't defend it at the Rumble Tumble because he was in the Fatal 4 way. Didn't defend it at the Penetration Chamber. So he's going to defend it tonight. And he's also going to defend it at Fat Lane if he wins. But whoever wins out of him or Anthony. Uh, so if Anthony wins, Anthony will, Anthony will take the belt to Fat Lane. Be funny if he wins and then Harry twenty four hours later wins the belt back. Harry you gotta defend the belt man, you can't keep dodging. It's European Championship. Anthony, um why not? You know, give him an opportunity. Now he is 84 rated and Harry's only 81. 
to for the European Championship. Anthony versus Harry. Harry finally defending this this belt, this cursed belt that hasn't been hasn't been actually defended since uh, Fat Lane. Uh, since Fat Lane is get defended at Fat Lane, whoever wins, uh, they'll be facing again at Fat Lane. Um, or I might make it a triple threat actually. If Anthony wins, it'll be just him versus Harry. But if uh, Harry wins, we'll do Anthony, Harry. Um, and we'll add somebody else. Yeah, making his way to the ring, weighing in at about a hundred and uh, forty pounds, about one hundred and fifty pounds actually. Anthony, the barefoot man himself. And making his way to the ring. Weighing in about, I don't know, about 95 pounds. No, I'm joking. About 100 and... Well, I said Charlie was about 120, so Harry's about 125. 125 pounds. He is the European champion. Harry. G. It's not like Harry hasn't been on any of the pay-per-views. He's been. He was in the Fatal Foy for the YouTube title at the Rumble Tumble. And he was at the uh, penetra he was in the Penetration Chamber for the YouTube title as well. He actually had a good match as well. He eliminated two people. And, well, was about to get his third before because he hit the Rough Rider. But I took it. He eliminated um, Charlie W and um, Louis as well. I had another voice crack. What the hell? It's a small one. But even if he retain, if he retains, it's just him. If he retains, him, Anthony, and somebody else. But if Anthony wins, it, it'll be Anthony and Harry, because then Harry has an excuse. Do, 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 do. Looking forward, high to high. Finally, the European title is on the line. So, yeah, we've had some decent matches tonight. We're just going to ignore the Callum and Charlie match. I can't believe that was the ending to the bloody match. Fat Lane's on the 11th. Sorry, Fast Lane for WWE's on the 11th. Fat Lane's on the 10th. And then on the 9th is, well, today, obviously. Well, I say today. It's actually the 5th of uh, March. But um, it's going up on. But I'm going to act like it is the 9th. Anthony has his opportunity to win his first title. Um, yeah, title. He has had an opportunity at the Hardcore Belt, and I think that's the only title he's. Oh, the NXT belt, of course, as well. But 
Oh my god, Anthony's just throttling him to death. No, I could actually add. I'll add Louis. That'd be good. I'll add Louis into the match. These two have not not a huge problem with Louis, but you know they've had their differences. It's a very small rivalry, but why not? But they've had falling outs basically. Let's just say that. And I feel like it'd be good to add Louis into the match. That's if obviously and um Harry wins, of course. If Anthony wins, it's just a normal one on one. Harry will be, that's Harry's rematch clause. Actually, no, no, no. It doesn't matter whoever wins. Um, Louis will be added in. Alright then, okay. So, yeah. Nice DDT there by Harry. Will that be enough to put Anthony away? Oh, almost did. This was quite a shorter episode of Friday Night's Great Event, which is kind of a good thing, you know, because I have to go to bed anyway in a bit. But yeah, we should just go over 11, as it's as uh, the time is where I am now. So. 10.45 so hopefully this match can finish up in the next 5 minutes and then the battle royale is probably going to go on for about 20 minutes let's be honest nah I'll be able to go on for a good like 10-12 minutes so it should just go over 12 Harry now that leg drop Harry's first title defense. This is his first title defense because he won the battle in a battle royal back at the free preview. Hasn't defended it since. He was meant to defend it at um, Fat Lane against Charlie, uh, Penetration Chamber, but then I switched it around and gave him Callan. I gave him the US opportunity. US title opportunity. Callan, I can. Tell you right now, he's not competing at Fat Lane though. Um, he's compete. He's defending his title next at um, Conomania, but um, Harry now he's setting up for the oh the Broski boot. Would that be enough to put Anthony away? Oh, Anthony getting the shoulder up. <laughs> nice kick, Harry. Oh, Harry gets out of it. Harry's setting up for it. The move that got him, well, basically three eliminations, and I even used it to. Oh no, Anthony blocked it. No, oh, he used. Oh, this is a move that he's used to win matches in the past. He used it before. Oh, he used it in a. I think it may have been a practice match. I don't know. Or it may have been on the lap. It may have been on. I think it wasn't a practice match. Yeah, it was. Uh, he used that though in a practice match that I did, and he actually got the win off of it. Here's Harry's finisher. Oh my god. Oh, you're an OE. Anthony, could he be closing in on his first title? Could this be it? New champ. No, Harry kicks out.
I don't know how he blocks it. Oh, that rolls him down. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I just, um, just remembered Louis's version of Anthony on his game. It's basically Anthony, we um, call him Mike Wasowski. Uh, because he kind of looks like him, <laughs> and Louis made him all green with the singlet with a Mike Wazowski eye on it. Three, and it's over. Harry did it. Harry retains his belt. Well, will it be it like that this weekend? Harry retains his belt. So is this the movie used? So what did he actually use? He used that. It's enough to keep Anthony down. There's your winner. And still, the European champion. Harry, so there we go, Harry's first title defense is successful. Alright, congratulations to him, Harry, congratulations. Now you just gotta do that at the I just gotta do that again at the uh at Fat Lane. And uh he we, he has the right to be called champion. Well the it will take twenty minutes though, the battle royal because everyone's entrance is as well. So they game a title on the line again. Do you know I'll do that in a second. So it is Matt defending the belt against Joe. Louis, Louis. And finally, well, not finally, but you know, uh, Hayden, Hayden, there you are. Hayden has an opportunity to get his tile back. Uh, Matt. So, Oh yeah, so as um, if you don't know, the gamer title always gets defended on CWA. Um, yeah, Matt's the current champion at the moment. Yeah, every time six-man battle royal, the champion has to defend it. So Matt's only been champion for a week so far. Well, it's only been uh, three days for me, but um, the title run, like say if well, the title run ends and whoever wins it starts when the video goes up on YouTube when it goes live so Matt's title run uh, now I did this like on when like the last well like last Wednesday but Matt's title run didn't start until Friday so Matt's only been champion for me so far it's only been three days but uh, say if it does end tonight it'll actually end on Friday night so he'll be champion for literally a whole week so seven days Hayden was champion for 19 days, I think he was. Yeah, so, um, he's the longest reigning <laughs> game of champion. But the game of championship is only going to be on two pay-per-views ever. And that's Conomania and Solid Steel Series, because the game of champion will go up against the NXT champion. And then, obviously, the Intercontinental will go in against the United States. And then the European would go up against the Greatest Tournament of Superstars. And then you've got, um, or I might do the US champ versus the European champ, and then the greatest tournament of superstars versus the intercontinental champion. You know, whoever 
gold against gold, and then I don't know Europe versus America, or whatever. But um, and then there'll be the tag red tag team versus blue tag team, you know the champions. Um, not none of these are on the line. The only belt will be on the line will be the hardcore belt because it hasn't got anybody else to go against. And then the YouTube versus the CWA champions. Anyway, here we go. Uh, making his way to the ring. <laughs> anyway, making his way to the ring, weighing in about a hundred and sixty pounds. about 180 pounds So anyway, there we go, there's Joe, our first opponents. And the boos continue, just like what's going to happen at WrestleMania 34. I like Roman Reigns, but it's, you just know it's going to happen. Making his way to the ring, he is one, well, he's the other. It's just, he's one third of the big boys obviously the, the other two members were unsuccessful with getting an opportunity at the tag titles, will James win the Gamer Championship though tonight he does play games he plays like a lot of Rainbow Six Siege I think it's just pretty much like one of the only games he plays, like the only game he probably plays GTA as well I don't know if he does or not, I've not played with him but apparently he plays Rainbow so he's allowed in this so anyway Weighing in and about. He's weighing in and about a hundred pounds. There's about a hundred and sixty pounds. And finally, since the Rumble Tumble, we haven't seen this man in action at all. Why is he getting booed? He should be getting cheered. He is a face. I forgot his intro takes so long. It takes like at least three minutes. Okay, well he should be getting cheered. He should be a face. Well, I'll change that. So yeah, he should be getting cheered, so just pretend he's getting cheered. Yep, 
This is a this is an actual thing. Sorry, Andrew, but <laughs> why not? You know. So Andrew has an opportunity to win the game of championship. Yeah. I thought I'd put him in some action tonight. Even if he does win it tonight, it's most likely not a chance he will. I mean, the last time he was in for one of these battle royals, he won it. From the Rump he is the Rumble Tumble winner. I'm not relegating him to the game of championship. It's just there's no point if I'm going for any other belts at the moment. Because he has an opportunity to get one of the two best belts, which is the... Great tournament of superstars. Now he chose Ruben because he thought Jay was going to make it all the way to Corner Mania, but he didn't because I'm the champion now. But that could, well, he could actually make it because I remember I'm facing him at Fat Lane. I like how he's just completely normal now. One second, guys. Okay. How come last week he entered with the belt? Anyway, weighing at about 130 pounds. Um. Hayden. Anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, making his way to the ring, weighing in at about 100 and 150 pounds. It's about 165 pounds. 170 pounds, alright. Me and Joe are 160, he's 170. Louis, Darcy, well I mean he is though going to be in the European Championship match I just realised why don't I just get this opportunity to like Tim or something, oh well Sorry about that. Just had to deal with something. There he comes. A lot of the new wrestlers have their own custom music. What the hell? Oh no, I remember. I haven't given I didn't give him a custom when he comes to the ring with a belt. <laughs> well I'll need to fix that as well. Sorry Matt. I thought I'd already No I didn't. He only has when he doesn't have a belt. Oh well. That's when Drew walk that, that's Drew's. Looking down to the ring, alright, well I'll fix that for next time.
He's putting that title on the line. The Gamer Championship. Hey, and Joe going straight into Hayden here. Andrew going after the champ and James and Louis who actually have a rivalry. You know, we need to sell that rivalry. We need to sell that rivalry. Maybe um, next episode of Friday Night's Great Event. We can have that. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how long you haven't noticed I've been gone for. Sorry. I am a train. Alright then, sorry about that. Anyway, Hayden now and Joe going at it. Hayden's in trouble here. The former champ could be eliminated first. That'll be horrible for him. It could happen. Joe could get the elimination here. When it does! Hayden's gone. Well, Hayden, the original, the first champion. Lost it last week and, well, he ain't getting it back for a while. He's calling time out. I think what I'll do is if Lou wins this match, I will take him out of the European Championship match and I'll put um, Tim in it instead. That's if he wins. Real nice to that power bomb there by Louis. So Hayden has been eliminated now. Louis tossing James over the top rope. Oh no. Andrew was in trouble as well, but he managed to make his way back into the ring. And now Louis in trouble. Uh, Andrew just helped Louis. Oh, Joe making his way back in as well. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Oh my god, what a move by Louis. That was a good move. I'm going to see that again. <laughs> I like that. Just watch that again, that was pretty good. So Hayden's the only one who's been eliminated so far. Nice DDT there by Louis. James countering Andrew. Andrew that hasn't competed on CWA for a little bit. Another setup power bomb by Louis there and a power bomb by Ryan. Uh, sorry, Andrew. 
Now Ryan's competing against Callum for the US Bell at Conomania. That's already a scheduled match. That's actually another match, sorry, that's already been scheduled, so that's our third one. We only have three at the moment scheduled. We'll obviously get more along the way. Oh, and James is helping. This might not be good for Louis. Oh, they've got both of his legs up. And Louis hangs on. And I'm Matt here. Turns on James. And I'm Matt trying to get James out here. Oh, now Louis helping. Oh, but no. James fights back. And now Louis going after the champion. Not in trouble. Oh, Matt could be going there. We could have a new champion if he goes out. And Matt, oh, we got it. He's gone. We're going to have a new champion. Matt has been eliminated. I think Hayden was eliminated fourth as well, actually. Well, a set up power bomb there by James to Andrew. Matt's gone. We're going to have a new champion. Matt, yeah. Well, Matt will get another opportunity next week. to get it back only a 7 day run for Matt unfortunately I think Hayden was eliminated actually um, in last week he was eliminated 4th as well he's not very good at these is he oh Joe sending Louis over the top and oh James has been eliminated not a good night for the big boys I can tell you that Louis managed to fight his way back in there. Now we're down to three. Hayden, Matt, and James have all been eliminated. Louis cancelling that. Now Louis sending Joe over. Louis trying to eliminate Joe now. No, it's just not going to happen. They actually have a bit, of, they've actually had a bit of a feud, they need to fit from its... Oh, no, oh, double punch there. Louis countering it, now Andrew here. Looks like Andrew and Louis have gotten a, an alliance at the moment here. Teaming up on Joe. Uh, if, yeah, if I were Louis, I'd team up with Joe just to get Andrew out, because Andrew's pretty good at these. I mean, he won the Royal Rum the Rumble Tumble. The Rumble, so... Watch out. Andrew says no, and now a clothesline to Louis. Oh, now an elbow right to the right to the face. Now it's putting some pressure here. Joe's just sitting back. And now Louis being sent over the top. And now Andrew, Andrew, Louis could be in trouble here. Louis in trouble. I think Louis going out here. And oh, Louis gone. Louis once again, and he's triggered. It's all right. And now Andrew, Andrew here. He's got Joe. Andrew can actually do it. And he did it. He did it. Andrew has not competed. Andrew. That's his first battle royal, but I mean, you know, he was in the Royal Rumble. Him and Joe team up to eliminate Louis. It cuts to Louis so we don't actually see what Andrew does there, he just whips him over the top. Louis triggered on the outside that he's been eliminated. But his, one of his enemies, Joe, did not win it either. And Andrew, Andrew has not won, lost one of those yet. Battle royal. And Andrew is the new gamer champion. He should be faced though, he should be cheered. And Andrew cements himself as the new, well, Andrew's first singles belt here in CWA and that will do it for this week's episode guys. I hope you have enjoyed, um, this was a short episode so um, yeah, so thanks for watching Friday Night's Great Event and uh, we'll see you uh, with Fat Lane.